what is up guys my name is Mark Sanrio welcome back to the channel welcome back to the RC vlog actually it was gonna be a race vlog and then it got canceled and then now it's gonna be a race vlog again very strange turn of events this morning guys I I had got the truck all loaded up the family up 5 30 in the morning we're ready to go trucks loaded and before I leave I get word that the race is canceled due to rain right before I leave like I'm still sitting in the driveway so I unload the truck and as I'm unloading the truck People are rumbling on Facebook talking about where they're going to go because there were people already at the track ready to go. And word on the street is there's a race that a club race north of me, two hours north of me, that is going to race today. So I was like, man, I'd already unloaded the truck. I was sitting there thinking uh, maybe I could just go crawling today. And then I realized that Shaw's, the track that's actually going to have the race, two hours north of me, has a crawling track. So I was like, oh, that, that's freaking perfect. I can run my EB48 2.0 and go crawling at the same place. So I've always wanted to run this crawling track. That's going to be fun. I've always wanted to run my EB48 2.0. That's going to be fun. So it looks like it's shaping up to be a really good day. So I'm heading out there now, and I will see you when I get there. Guys, I'm not trying to be a pessimist or anything, but we're about 14 miles away. It's, it's not looking good right now. Ah, uh, all right, guys, we made it here, but it's freaking raining. Ah, uh, I got here and this guy's canopy was flying away. They're grabbing their canopy. They're trying to put stuff up. That guy's canopy is gonna go soon, probably. But yes, it's raining. The track. Ah, uh, we're just not gonna catch a break, guys. And I, I just got off the highway. I know more is coming for sure. So we'll, we'll sit here and wait for a little bit. All right, it's clearing up a little bit, guys. Track's still a little damp. I'm about to put my batteries on a charge. I think I will run at least a battery. Well, let's see the track flow here. James is a good driver. I'm sure he can do us, give us a good lap without mistakes here. You did blow that corner. <laughs> oh, 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 uh oh, oh. It's fun and easy enough. Oh, he flipped over over there. All right, I'm gonna go put batteries on the charge. All right, guys, y'all be so proud of me. Look at my social distancing skills. My area, there's no one in these, these campers, by the way. This is, I'm the only one here. Then everyone else is out there. I am like social distance to the max. I even got my own plug over here. This is like the best spot ever. No one knows about it. And there's a lot of wind. The first guy tried to pit by his canopy got blown away. These trees kind of block the wind. It works out. So charging batteries about to get on the track. I'll show you guys my car. It's going to be the last time it's ever that clean. It's actually kind of depressing. The track's a little damp right now. I'm going to let it dry out a little bit. But you guys got to check out this crawling course. Look at this. All right, look, it will never, ever be this clean ever again. It's about to get really, really dirty. That's the only problem is that thing is there, but it's good. It might block cars from flying off. But yeah, it's about to get super dirty. It's stock, never ran. Traxxas live dual charger. Got one. I'm actually charging my race packs with it. Look, I'm doing the hack. Huh? Huh? Track over there. Track like this when it's really damp. I'm going to run M3 whatever has a big lug so i think i have i think i have a set of diamond backs in my bag run some diamond backs maybe some blockades but so long as it's an m compound when it's this wet it should work i don't think it's gonna matter too much so put some tires on my car and get out there yeah so that was the first time i drove the techno eb48 2.0 and the very first thing i noticed is it has way more on power steering like you can get on the throttle a lot sooner with this car complete box setup i think i'm gonna throw the red springs on there it's what most guys are running i think it's supposed to make the car a little bit more aggressive i felt like i was waiting a little bit for the front end i'm, I'm not sure we're just gonna see how it feels and throw the red springs on there i thought the the red springs are actually harder than the blue springs i told i was told by another team member that it's the opposite way around but 
I'll find out for sure and let you guys know, but I know everyone that I've seen and all the big name guys that are running the Red Springs. So yeah, I'm just gonna do race stuff. I'm about to strap you guys on my head. I'm gonna go the first qualifier with you guys on my head so you can see, and I'll give you kind of a, a heads up on what's happening in that race, but I'm not gonna do any crawler stuff. I am gonna do crawler stuff, but it will be on the next video. So it'll be the next video will be crawling at Shaw. So car flipped over over here. I'm gonna be the, the good guy in, in Marshall. So I did confirm that the Red Springs are softer. So the car should feel a little more aggressive. That will kind of answer some of my problems with me feeling like I was waiting for my front end to really hook. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try the Red Spring Springs. It's TKR 6039 and it's a 70 millimeter Red Springs for the front. So I'll put those on the link in the description below, but I promise the next clip will be of me actually on the track running. So the car felt good. I, I'm lacking just the confidence. I don't know if it's because of the long break. I feel like I, I'm like hesitating around the track a little bit. My tires are super skatey. I don't know if it's tires or track, but I'm gonna put in a really, I'm put on some really aggressive tires. I'm gonna put some hole shots on. Um, that should rule that out if it is tires. So I'm getting there. I think I finished third overall in that qualifier. So I'm gonna throw some hole shots on and see how the last qualifier goes. All right guys, they're running Nitro out there. So I, I marshaled and I had some time to reflect and I still feel like I'm waiting for the back end of my car to come around. And it's really when I'm off power. So whenever I go off power, I don't feel like the car is rotating fast enough. So there's two things that you can do there. You can take out rear toe, which would mean you move these, you can move these two rear pins or hinge, these two pills to move the hinge pin in a little bit, or you can add any squat. I'm not going to add any squat. I'm just going to do the toe first. The toe will definitely speed up my uh, my rear rotation because my on power feels really good. So with any squat, when you have more any squat, you'll have more on power traction. Um, when you have less any spot any squat, you'll have more off power traction. So I have the problem with having too much off power traction. I'm already pretty low on any squat. The any squat pill is actually the one in front, but I'm not going to mess with that. Um, I'm just going to take toe out. So basically, what I'm going to do is. It looks like stock is two pills to the bottom right. I'm gonna go one pill, one dot to the uh, two dots to the bottom right is stock. I'm gonna do one dot to the middle down. So that's what I'm gonna do to this one, and I'm gonna put some hole shots on. Hope that helps for you guys who ever have problems with rotations of your car.
getting a little warm out here, guys. All right, so that qualifier was much better. The changes I made felt way better. I think the only thing that I don't like right now is just the way the track is. It's a little loamy, it's a little dusty, and there's not really much I can do about that. The whole shots were awesome. I, I thought about changing tire, but I think I'm just gonna stick with that package because I finished with the third overall that round. So car felt good, and I think I have what it takes for the main, so we'll see how that goes. I will record the main. Not sure if it's gonna be in this video, it might be another video, but check it out. My boys got here and we moved under the shade. We're going with the uh, the natural shade instead of the easy up. People's easy ups are blown away and this shade is awesome over here, so. Whew, it's been a long day, guys. It's turning out to be a beautiful evening. Sun's going down, I got one more race left. I'm already pretty much all packed up. My kid's already left. So we're, we're closing it out. I'll shoot my main video and I'll do a commentary video on that so you won't see it in this video but I hope you liked the video and if you did smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.